This video is about how to fill in data that has gaps in some of the fields using Tidier. One way that data is sometimes collected is to write down information for the first of something, like the first individual of a species, and then not update that information until that column changes. And so we can end up with gaps in the data if it's actually entered that way. But all of the tools that we're used to working with have to have that data filled in. So how do we deal with that? Let's start by looking at some gappy data that represents the sorts of things that I've seen uh, in real data sets before. We'll go ahead and load the uh, tidier package and the dplyr package so that we have those to work with. And then let's go ahead and create our gappy data file. And we're going to load that in using read.csv uh, straight from the web. And the web address is https colon slash slash www.datacarpentry.org slash semester biology slash data slash gappy hyphen data dot csv. And then I'm going to add the optional argument na dot strings which if you'll recall from earlier videos we used to tell R what values should be counted as null values. And in this case, we're going to say uh, just empty quotes. And this part's important because we have a column that has character data in it but has gaps, and read CSV will not read those gaps in as nulls, it'll read them in as empty strings, which would make things more challenging. And so if we do this, we can then open up the gappy data. And what we'll see is the kind of situation that I described a minute ago, where we have data on multiple individuals, of the same species that are each being measured for a mass. And to save time when writing data down and entering it, the species has only been listed for the first individual, and then nothing has been listed until the species changes. And so what this data is actually saying is the species for all of these rows is ACAC, the species for all of these rows is FOMO. And the species for all of these rows is FALA. But with null values in here, or empty strings, instead of our actual species ID, we won't be able to filter this data by species. We won't be able to group it by species. We won't be able to make graphs by species. So what do we do? And the answer is we use the fill function in Tidier. Let's go ahead and create another data cleaning pipeline like we've been doing. We'll call the outcome of that pipeline clean data. We'll start with our gappy data as our starting point, and we'll pipe that into the fill function. And the fill function takes as many arguments as we have columns that we need to fill in. And in this case, we just need to fill the species column. And so if we run this and open up clean data, we'll see that we now have the data set in the format that it probably should have been in the first place, which is with the species information filled in all the way down. By default, this filling happens from the top 
And so if there's an empty uh, value in the species column, it'll take the value above it and use it to fill down until we get a new value for the species. But we can change the direction of the fill to fill up from the bottom, and we can even fill first down from the top and then up from the bottom or vice versa in some complicated situations. Fill will only fill in values where there's actually a row present. And so it's filled in each of these null values where there's a row. But it is also sometimes the case that we need to complete the list of other values so that we get all unique combinations. So what I mean by that is in this example, we have 10 individuals of ACAC, 10 individuals of FOMO, but we're only seeing eight individuals of FALA. And in some cases, we need to have 10 individuals of FALA in our data structure as well. We need to completely fill out all possible unique combinations of species and individual, even if there's not a data point already present in the form of a row. And we can do that using the complete function. And so let's go ahead and pipe uh, our data pipeline into complete. And the complete function takes the columns that provide the unique combinations that we want provided. So if we want all unique combinations of the species column and the individuals column, then we would provide complete with both of those column names. And then when we go and look at clean data, we'll see a couple of things. First, our ordering has actually changed here. It's now sorted. Uh, Fala was the one at the bottom, if you'll recall, with the missing individuals. Uh, but two, the individual rows that weren't there before, the ninth and tenth individual for Fala, have now been added, and null values have been filled in for that mass because we didn't have a mass for those individuals. And so this can be used to add null values. We can also specify an optional fill value uh, like we did before when we were using pivot wider. Uh, and that fill value will fill in NAs with different values if we want to. Uh, for example, filling in zeros into our uh, counts data like we did before. So that's how you complete data that is either gappy or missing values using tidier. We use the fill function to fill either down or up values where we have null values, but we know from the data structure that those are actually supposed to be the value either above or below the missing values. And if we have values that don't have rows at all, they weren't entered, but we need to have them represented in the data, uh, we can use complete, and it takes as arguments uh, the columns that we want to always have unique combinations of. We want to have all possible combinations of, uh, and then it will fill in null values or using the optional fill argument, anything that we want. But we can change the way that things fill uh, if we need to, uh, to fill A warning to our viewers. The data structure you are about to see 
may shock and terrify you, but don't worry, there is a way to make it tidy.